The growing health risk associated with the sharp practices of some street food vendors and caterers is now a source of concern to residents in Abuja. They are calling on the government to put regulatory measures to monitor what these food vendors and caterers serve to the public. Maria Mohammed reports. Street food vendors and those who provide home catering services solve major social and economic problems in most developing countries like Nigeria, where the working population work long tiring hours in order to make ends meet. A further advantage of this class of service providers is that the meals are relatively sold at cheap prices, which enable many households to spread the inadequate incomes round the month. But due to informal practice of these entrepreneurs, their activities are not regulated. These give rooms for measures of unwholesome practices, which brings in a wake of health risks, such as food poisoning. According to the World Health Organization, there are 2 million reported give rooms for measures of unwholesome practices, which brings in a wake of health risks, such as food poisoning. According to the World Health Organization, there are 2 million reported cases of food poisoning in Nigeria, with an estimated death annually of 200,000 people, children inclusive, from food poisoning, and 20,000 deaths from the exposure of food pesticides. It brings to full an urgent need for caterers to stop cutting corners in the kind of food ingredients and additives they use in their meals in order to prevent health issues, which are sadly on the rise amongst the populace. Caterers should take extra precautions while preparing meals, such as washing hands before and after cooking, as well as keep cooking utensils and their environment safe in order to prevent food contamination. At the end of it, you ask, what is your pepper tolerance? What allergy do you have? What do you want me to include? What do you want me to exclude? And all that. And it's a common thing. As in, it's a known thing for you to wash your hands before and after cooking. And also in terms of the utensils, you know, we, we, we actually take precautions, keep them safe and clean. Also, the cooking environment should be clean and um, so far, so good. I've not had any bad complaints. Your cooking environments, your spices. We even look out for where we buy meat in the market. You know, there are some raw meat you don't store for long. And also, you don't actually mix your, your cooked food with the raw ones. And also, you know, some customers will tell you, I want particular kind of oil for my cooking, you know simply because some are actually diabetes and all that. They just give you specific ingredients, oil, condiments to use and you just have to follow. The only alpha that I can give to them because you know say everybody have the different of cooking. Like a goosey, if you know cook a goosey done, it will push you. But if you take time to prepare a goosey, it doesn't matter how the goosey you will tear, it will not disturb you. Yes. People can a restaurant cooker in maybe because you know they get some place that you went now to go and eat they will look dirty and that kind of place will not attract you for you to enter that kind of place to eat they will look somehow body good for any restaurant cooking to dress well and make sure you look neat nigerians on the other hand have a responsibility of taking precautions concerning their health they should also consider the hygiene of the food they eat in terms of preparation and environment. Anything you take in is so important in respect of health. So if you want to take anything in, you have to consider your hygienic of it. So you understand, preparation and uh, where you, they prepare it is most important before any other thing. If you say um, street food vendors, some of them are clean. That's why I, go. I buy food from street vendors. The same with catchers. If you are to blame street um, vendors because they're not clean, then you should look at the aspect that some catchers are not so clean. So it's just an uh, individual stuff. Government should set an agency that will be monitoring them. Because if they are putting, like you say, they are putting Panadol on food, it's very harmful to their health. And if government should not, if government do not take care of this one now, it may later lead them to some expenses. 
For residents, they believe the best way to guarantee food safety is for the authorities to set up a regulatory measure that street food vendors and home caterers will be mandated to adhere to in order to improve the safety of the food services they provide. To safeguard the lives of most Nigerians who love street food and catering services such as this, the food regulation bodies are expected to checkmate the food vendors and catering services across the country in order to curb health issues. Maria Mohammed, TVC News, Abuja. Well, like they say.